Hi guys, massive news. The Unreal Engine 5 uh, Early Access has started now. They've just released an Early Access version of Unreal Engine 5 on the Epic Game Store, uh, as long as the Valley of the Ancients source code, which is their like sort of Early Access demo project. Uh, the source file for that is available as well, so you can get dug in. So we've already had a look at Unreal Engine 5 in the past, but they've just done another showcase today. In this video, I just wanted to go through some of kind of what was shown. I'm going to be referring to my notes, so I might keep looking down. Um, and I'll show some of the footage on the screen as well. I just want to go through the kind of key points. So why don't you, you could always go get Unreal Engine 5 downloading now on the Epic Games Store. And while it's downloading, maybe see what you're getting yourself into by watching this video. Okay, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that I noticed was that the Series X was shown and it was shown kind of first as well. Um, previously, there was a kind of a bit of uprage and misinformation because uh, the previous UE5 um, showcase only showed the PlayStation. And then there was rumors the engine was going to be sort of exclusive to the PlayStation 5, which obviously was ridiculous that was never going to happen uh, but it got reported Um, it did show ps5 as well and the visual quality uh, i'd have to go back and analyze it but it looked fine that they both looked exactly the same um and then the next thing is they showed off some of the ui uh, and the ui was so much cleaner uh, one of my biggest gripes with ue4 is how dated it looks there is a mod on github to make it look a lot cleaner um, and i always used that when i was using unreal but it's got stuff now so like tabs can collapse and fold away uh, just making just so then the scene view is kind of your main view you're not kind of having to drag and slide different windows down to get the nice big full screen experience uh, so you can just get really immersed into making your games it then showed off more of their nanite system which is uh kind of death of lods kind of level of detail stuff. Uh, there's billions of triangles in the scene. So it's got this virtual geometry. I'm not completely sure. I've not got a big enough brain to completely understand the inner workings of it. Uh, but from what I understand is you drag in these mega scans assets that have got like thousands, millions of triangles, and then the engine will deal with optimizing them kind of in real time on the fly. Uh, so you're not having to create different custom LODs for that. So they showed off this massive scene of a uh, kind of an aerial view of a canyon with things really up close that were film quality. And uh, then off in the distance, it was the same assets, but because of this nanite system, uh, you couldn't tell they were any sort of less detailed and they looked just as realistic, but it was running in real time. They showed off more of Lumen, uh, which again, we've already seen it before. Uh, Lumen is fully dynamic. It works with the Megascans assets because obviously the Megascans are PBR, uh, physically based rendering kind of materials. Uh, so they look at photo real uh, and Lumen is really designed to get the most out of those PBR materials. The next thing that they showed off was that Quixel Bridge was built directly into the editor. Uh, currently it's a bit of a pain because Bridge is a separate app or you or you view it on the web browser. You have to download the assets and then send them to Unreal and import it. But now, but now Megascans Bridge is going to be built into the editor, so you can just go on, search for your thing, drag it straight into the scene view, which again, game changing. They then showed off uh, Mega Assemblies, which are these pre-built big assets, because um, because currently Megascans is made up of like individual rocks and elements, and there are a few cliff faces. Uh, but what they showed off in the footage was. Um, like a big kind of cliffside with all these different assets. They've the Megascans team have gone and pre-built them into kind of how they should look, which is great because they know what they're doing. Uh, if if you if we try to recreate it, it might not look as accurate. Like it'd look good because it's their assets, but, but it might not look realistic. Obviously, they're the ones who have studied this. Um, so these big mega assemblies are going to look amazing. Then showed off world partition. Now UE4 does have level streaming. Um, you can use it for various things, but this world partition makes it so big uh, Big worlds have become cell-based. So you could have a big open world, divide that into cells, and each cell is kind of a level, and then one artist could be working in one cell, which is on one level, and then someone else could be working on a different cell. So this opens the door for collaboration, because you can all be working on the same big map, but you're actually only working on your cell. And because of the way this is built, uh, it's kind of optimized now to, to kind of be like a chunk system. So as a player is walking around the world, uh, they'll have a defined radius, which you can see, which determines how many chunks are loaded in at a time and how many are kind of high resolution. And then this world partition will just stream those levels in and out sort of seamlessly. And the other great thing was this uh, runtime level streaming, which allows you to go between worlds kind of instantly. Um, 
So the main character of this demo, Echo, she was walking through the main canyon and then suddenly it switched and she was in the dark world, which was a bit more of a fantastical kind of like mythical version of where she was. And that kind of goes into the next feature they showed, which was uh, game feature plugins. Game feature plugins allow you to compartmentalize uh, core features of gameplay. Um, so you can turn these systems off and on and nothing has to be aware of them. Uh, allowing for a bit more of a cleaner workflow. So the the way they explained this is that when Echo went through the portal to the dark world, um, they could just enable and turn on her abilities. This allows you to activate and deactivate gameplay quite easily compared to like whatever situation your characters are in. One of the next things was the control rig, which is Unreal Engine's in-editor uh, rigging system, uh, rigging and animation system. I believe control rig is what is used with uh, the metahuman stuff as well. It comes with a new kind of streamlined IK solver, which is a lot faster apparently. What this allows is animation to react to objects in the world. So as a character's walking, their feet will kind of figure out where the actual ground level is. Uh, another, and another use for it again that they showed off in this demo was the fact that there was a vaulting animation which was, pre, which was done to match like a certain dimension of a wall. But then they could use this IK solver to dynamically alter the animations. So if you wanted to then fall over a longer wall, uh, you could set that up. So that one animation works kind of no matter how big or small the object is, you can tweak it that way in engine. This way you don't need like five different animations for five lengths of wall. <sighs> Another new feature they showed off, I'm running out of breath, there's so many of them, uh, is meta sounds. So meta sounds are blueprint like audio editing, uh, it's powerful scripting, modular audio files. Um, the big boss kind of battle that they showed off in this new project. The laser beam sound was made from just lots of different sounds that they've kind of plugged in, kind of like a like like blueprints. They've hooked up all of these sounds with different effects to make this one big beam sound. This looks a lot more powerful than kind of the current audio system in UA4. And yeah, they finished it saying that the Unreal Engine 5 Early Access is now on. Uh, you can go to the Epic Game Store or their GitHub to download the Early Access version of Unreal Engine 5. And the scene that they were showing, this Valley of the Ancients, that project is also available for you to download and, and to see all the new features that they've showed off. But yeah, I'll have some more content on UE5 coming soon. It's going to be great to kind of check it out and get stuck in just to see what the future holds. But whatever it holds, it seems quite exciting and very beautiful if this Valley in the Ancient scene is anything to go by. But that's everything for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.